Ah, the leech. Ravenous bloodsucker. Parasite. Nemesis to hikers. But it wasn't always this way. The same leech that's dreaded by pond swimmers was once a hot commodity. For thousands of years, draining blood from patients was considered one of the best treatments for everything from smallpox to scurvy. And healers often used leeches to suck that blood out. Their favorite was Herudo medicinalis. But losing all that blood usually did more harm than good, further weakening patients. By the end of the 18th century, science-based medicine was in, and leeches were out, at least for a while. So what are leeches anyway? Just horrible little vampires? Well, actually, they're more like earthworms. In fact, they share a common ancestor. But some leeches developed a taste for blood, and they've become experts at stealing it. Leeches have suckers on both ends of their body. They use them to inchworm around. The big sucker at the back anchors the leech. Inside that front sucker is a muscular jaw bearing three razor-sharp teeth. They use them to saw through the skin. Once suctioned into place, the leech spews chemicals into the wound, like anticoagulants that thin the blood, keeping it from clotting. That lets the leech slowly suck away for up to 40 minutes. When done, it leaves a three-point scar. At hospitals like California Pacific Medical Center in San Francisco, leeches have made a comeback. Okay, get ready. When doctors reattach body parts like fingers and ears, blood sometimes pools in them, keeping fresh blood from getting in. That's where our buddy the leech comes in. Sucking out the stale blood to make way for the good stuff. Doctors literally prescribe leeches to help a patient recover. The medicine has changed, but the tool, it's the same. The leech, continuing its creepy, though sometimes helpful, relationship with us. You still there? Nice. Here's another kind of leech, Helibdella. But it's not after your delicious blood. It's got a taste for escargot. It spits in digestive enzymes and eats the snail alive. And you thought leeches weren't cuddly. 